there is deep division in the Senate, and the division is not along party lines. Senator Lindsey Graham, a Republican, is not giving Senator, Senator Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, also a Republican, as Republican leader, the vote he's looking for. Senator Lindsey Graham joins us. So I take it you're a no. You can take it to the bank. I'm I can a take no. that to me. Why are you a no to this? Uh... Well, number one, you can say with certainty that we've changed the debate. The Tea Party are not a bunch of terrorists. They're people who believe that the government has gotten out of control. We spend too much. We got more debt than their children can pay back. So we've had a new debate. It's a good debate about cutting spending, not growing the uh, the, the government, but the deal itself. Here's my concern. It really doesn't, in my view, cut spending in a way to say that we've changed the dynamic that got us into $14 trillion in debt. There'll be more debt, $7 trillion over 10 years. The amount of spending cut in 2012 is $21 billion. That's two and a half days of federal spending. But of that $21 billion... In, in what year is that? In 2012. That's so all we saved. The, in so, is the, so are the spending cuts back-ended in... To well, I would argue that $21 billion is two and a half days of federal spending. Right. That's not a lot in 2012. Okay. Because the reason why is because I am enormously suspicious of the cuts that they occur after the election. Why would when, you be suspicious of the con I mean, what? I mean, if you look, if you look at this bill, it looks like you know. Well, everyone's like you know. You know Can I tell you my two? real concerns? Okay. Number one, we're gonna borrow every penny of the 2.3 trillion. The average length of time we extend the debt ceiling since 1940 has been nine months. We chose 22 months here, and we're borrowing 2.3 trillion, which is historic. Why we did that as Republicans, I don't know. President. Obama wants this to end. He wants to have no more of these debates until January 2013. Until after the election, which is like, which like back-ended cuts. He is back going, he's cuts going to sleep going to occur well because he doesn't have to go. Democrats. Right. His numbers have tanked because he's against spending. And John Thune's right. We only have one-third of the government. So our leadership in many ways did the best they could. But when you look at this agreement, it doesn't change the dynamic that we that led us to $14 trillion in debt. But here's what gets me the most. It's the defense side. Under this agreement, our defense budget could be cut up to a trillion dollars. The trigger that John talked about, if this joint committee doesn't produce the $1.2 trillion, the agreement says that 50% of the $1.2 trillion comes out of the defense budget. We're already cutting it $400 billion. Our, ch our, our new uh, chairman of the Joint Chiefs nominee said it's difficult to find $400 billion in cuts. I believe $800 billion would be extremely difficult and very high risk. And at the end of the day, what we've done as Republicans is put the defense cuts on the table at a level I could never envision as Republican. The biggest loser of this clearly would be the men and women in uniform. All right. Well, there are a couple things. One is that every time anyone in Washington mentions the word committee, I think at this point, I suspect the American people, if I could be so bold. Well, let's, speak, let's I, assume uh, the best. Let's assume the best. Well, like the, the committee works well. But wait, you, the gang of six didn't work. Uh, they worked well, but they but it didn't work. Um, we've got the Bull simpson Commission, which worked really, they I worked really hard. Some, let, what? Let, let's give it a be, chance? Let, give it a chance, and what do you get? Three trillion? Less than three trillion now. You're going to add seven trillion to the debt, so you really haven't moved the needle. But if this does work, or the joint committee fails, the Defense Department gets well, devastated. Well, all right, but what makes you think? Okay, so what makes you think the committee? There's we haven't had a lot of success with committees. I'm with you. I, I don't. Mean, I, we haven't had I'm a lot of success with committees. So you're saying that if the, if the committee fails, that it's going to be devastating to the defense. So the thing. So so under this and, agreement, it would right. be right. And and uh, as you say, but um, the, there's been no history, recent do, history. Well, how much money do we spend on defense at the federal level? Twenty percent of the budget's on national defense. Under this agreement, if the Joint Committee doesn't produce a product, fifty percent. Uh, of, of the cuts come out of the Defense Department. I believe the number one obligation of the federal government is to defend the nation. You should start with the defense budget, get it right, then go to other uh, things. This is sort of an interesting piece of information. This is, and I realize that you are not the, uh, you're not in the Congress, you're not in the House, but the chairman of the House Armed Services Committee, um, which is Congressman McKeon, back in, uh, on August 1st, 2011, made a statement. Today. Um, today, that was today, made a statement. And he says, our senior military commanders have been unanimous in their concerns that deeper cuts could break the force. And he voted yes. Well, all I can tell you further says that the second part of the proposal would create a national security crisis rather than debt crisis because it's the second part where defense could be cut by five to six hundred billion. I'm not suggesting that you have to vote like I do. I respect every member of Congress who cast a vote there as patriotic as I am. I'm saying the party of Ronald Reagan in many ways died today right, let's because we're no longer the party of national defense by blessing this agreement. Right, well, let's tell the American people another dirty little secret is that this bill came out when? 
It came out four o'clock last night, okay. one o'clock last night. And it's night. about 75 pages? Yeah, well, that's better than the Obama okay. health care so, bill. Yeah, no, no, the, that was 2,200 pages. So because everybody's rushing to go on this five-week vacation, they could have extended tomorrow night's deadline, another couple days or not, is that everybody voted on it today. Nobody read it. We don't know exactly where the cuts are. We have sort of a general outline of the cuts. But the problem is that it, that it seems like it would have been a little smarter. That, it's like, this, let's that, give people a chance right. to read it before I, they vote I on it. I understand what you're saying. But this I know without having read every page. The triggers in here will take the best trained, the best equipped, the most motivated military in the history of the world and over the next decade put it at risk. Our nation is facing threats I can't even tell you about in full detail. This is not the time to put the defense budget on the table for cuts disproportionate to the other parts of the government. And at the end of the day, I'm going to try everything I can to unravel this deal. All right, so you got your vote and no New York. You only have about 10 or 12 hours, so you better hustle. Thanks. You better get on the phone to your colleagues. Thank you, Senator.